as long as I've been playing mobile, I understand that each player has their own perfect set. And Sears looking good because of Oom. The setter is really setting her team up for success because of that window. Oom is really taking the balls really low right now, and that's making the game go a lot faster for the Sun Devils. The Sun Devils are an extremely balanced team. One of the best things that Arizona State has going for them is an extremely balanced offense. That goes through every pin and the middles. And a big part of that is because of their center. Kind of the hard and fun thing about setting is each hitter is different. They jump different. They approach different. So some players like a higher, slower set. Some players like a faster, um, lower set. So it really depends on your hitter and just that communication that you have with them. You look at the other side of the net, you see if the middle has shifted one way or the other, if they're dedicating to a certain person. Um, you can see where the defense is, see if they're deep or shallow, um, just decide like to dump. Basically the goal is to get our hitters one-on-one. -on -one. Coming in through the middle, there's only one block up on her. I would love to see Houston throw in another blocker, give her another thing to look at. The pass allows the setter to set anybody in the court. Like in a fast-paced offense, you can set anybody in the court that's in system. And out of system is when the pass is too off that you gotta take it with your platform or somebody else gotta take it. But at the end of the day, you would only have one option or two options at the most and probably won't be able to set your middle. You see a setter set a ball and a hitter gets a kill. Most of the time, it's because the setter got the ball with one blocker. So if someone has two blockers, sometimes out of system, you can't help it. But just like looking at decision making um, for the setters, that's usually a pretty big thing. You gotta be athletic to be a setter. You run all over the court. Body language, that's a huge thing too. You gotta give that confidence to their teammates. So I would say when the team is comfortable around the setter, I would say that makes a great setter. Right back defense is really hard. You can get hit in the head if you're not careful a lot closer to the hitter than middle back. So yeah, I think it's just dependent on the setter, but I know Arj and I both love defense. Like we like to train it, it's fun. We like to be gritty and just go for, go for everything. I feel like as a setter, you're almost like a second libero out there. Um, a lot of teams are gonna look to take the setter out. So at the end of the day, you gotta give your libero or the other people a good dig. You want the connection with your hitter. Like there's so many things that go into setting. Um, one bad set, I struggle with this, but like one bad set doesn't mean the end of the world, like trying to just next ball mentality. I've learned that communication is a big thing. At this high level, like the speed is, gets more faster than I've ever seen it before in my past years as a setter. And passing is so important for Arizona State because for them to have success offensively, they have to lead and lean into the speed of their attack. I think it's cool because not everybody's the same. And so it's like everyone sets different, but we all have the same goal. And so I'm learning like both from Shannon and Arj that um, I don't have to like look the same as them setting the ball, but I can still achieve a similar outcome. Through high school I worked really hard to make it to the national team. I made it to the national team at like 16, 17 years old. So for sure making it to that level at uh, such a young age gives you such a boost of confidence. I came into college and most of your teammates when you go to college they have never seen the bench. In college, especially in Power 5, any of your teammates have seen the bench before. So I would say my freshman year I didn't play much my sophomore year either. So of course that's hard, but you got to embrace that role of making the other side better. By the end of my last year at Washington State, I just, it was just like two different people from my freshman year to my senior year. And I keep seeing just growth till this day. Being here at Arizona State, it just pushes me every day. And I just love that in film, in practice. It just makes up these new drills for me and Brian just to get better. Me personally, I didn't start setting until I was 15 or 16. Um, I was an outside hitter my whole life, played a lot of beach volleyball, loved hitting. Um, and then my club coach sat me down and was like, I know it's your dream to go power five. You can achieve it, but you might not be as high of a level hitter. Do you want to try to switch to setting? And I was like, this is the year of recruiting. That's too much. Like, 
and he said, I'll get you in the gym, and if you wanna put the work in, I can get you there. And that coach really, like, I owe it all to him. He got me in the gym every day. I was in there Christmas Eve, like, really grinding just for a long time. I had to catch up from people who had been setting their whole lives. I had to catch up. I wanted to go D1 Power 5. My freshman year was so hard because I came literally from a whole different country. My English wasn't super good. And I remember Washington State, we used to run our set scene Persian. So I was, I speak Spanish, then I go into this program, they speak English, but we call our sets in Persian or like another different language. This year especially has been challenging because you know, JJ loves volleyball, he loves new drills, he comes up with new drills out of his head every single night. So you lo I love that I get challenged every day, I practice, my teammates challenge me. I think it'll really show how much work we've put in this year in the Big 12, working really hard to get this, this offense, so.